Today we're going to begin with activity 2.3, playing with lists. We're going to take a look at how we can introduce the model layer, understanding how lists work, as well as creating our first list for our charades game app. So far in this unit, you have seen how apps handle events and make decisions. In this activity, you will continue to work on the charades app by adding the words or phrases that a player will have to act out. This information, considered data, is more complex than storing a single value such as a score. In the previous lesson, you were introduced to the view and controller layer of an app's architecture. Because the charade app requires data to be maintained, it uses the other fundamental layer of an app's architecture, its model layer. Sometimes this is referred to as our data layer. The model layer is the layer of an app that maintains the information the app uses. This data can be pulled from a list or database, entered by the user, or gathered from a sensor. In order to understand how lists work, we need to think about how our charades app will need to display the words or phrases for the player to act out. How do you think this information should be organized in the program so that the app can maintain and display this data when instructed? If you guessed a list, you are correct. Let's take a quick look at a short video so that we can better understand how lists work. Lists are an ordered collection of data elements that are stored and accessed in a program. Programs or apps have two different types of lists. The first type, static lists, contain preset data within the app's program. This data doesn't change while the app is running. The second type, dynamic lists, contain data that users enter during runtime. Both types of lists contain a series of data items in a certain order. The position of an item in the list is called its index. Let's look at an example of a static list. You'll recognize this list as the days of the week. There are seven items in this list, one item for each day. Since Sunday is in the first position in the list, we say it has an index of one. Monday's is in the second position, so its index is two. What position is Tuesday in? The third position, so its index is, that's right, Tuesday's index is three all the way to Saturday in the seventh position with an index of seven. As a programmer, when you know the index of each data item in a list, you have the ability to access any data from the list whenever you need to use it in your program. Let's take a look at a list of chores. We have five choices to choose from. We have make our bed, wash the dishes, clean up our room, do our homework, and take out the trash. Looking at our list, what is the index for cleaning up our room? If you chose three, then your answer is correct. What item would you find that is located at index five? In index five, you should have selected take out the trash. Now that you've been introduced to the model layer and have a brief understanding of how list works, let's go ahead and create our first list. In order to create a list, we first need to open up our App Inventor Designer window by opening up a new tab or window in your browser. Here you'll need to go ahead to appinventor.mit.edu. You'll log in using your Google student email address and then click on Create Apps. Click on your project titled Charades. In the upper right hand corner, you'll need to click on the Blocks Editor. Once you are in your Blocks Editor, go ahead and click on the List drawer and explore all the list blocks that are available to you. Hover over each block to read more information about the block's function. Let's take a look at some of the most commonly used list blocks in MIT App Inventor. The first block we have is in order to make a list. This will create a list with any number of items that we choose. The create empty list will create an empty list with no elements located in that list. For our add items to list, this will add the given item to the end of our list. For picking a random item list, we can pick an item from a random list. And then we have select list item. This will return the item at the position index in that specific list. As we learn more about list items, you will have the chance to explore all of these blocks. In order to create our list, we're gonna need to go ahead and create a new variable. So from the variable drawer, we're gonna pull out an initialized global variable 
and we're going to go ahead and rename that to word phrase list. We will then need to go to our list drawer and add a make list block to your variable. You will then need to add additional items to make a list block so that your list has enough item slots for your words or phrases. From the text drawer, you're going to need to drag an empty text string block into the first item slot. Copy and paste this block into each remaining item slot. You will then need to type the words or phrases for your list into each text string block in sequence. Let's go ahead and create our list in MIT App Inventor. Once you have your MIT App Inventor opened up, you're going to need to open up that Charades Game app. From there, make sure you go ahead and click on the Blocks Editor. In our previous activity, we looked at how we can reduce the amount of redundant code. And we did that by creating two procedures known as the Reset Timer, as well as Decrement Score. Today, we're going to go ahead and make that list that we previously discussed so that we can pull up those random phrases at will. So what we're going to need to go ahead and do is create a new variable. So from our variable drawer, we're going to go ahead and select this initial global name. We're going to need to go ahead and then rename that word phrase list. Once you've renamed your global variable, the next thing we need to do is make a list. So what we're going to need to do here is give ourselves a little bit of room because this block can get a little bit large. And we're going to go to that list drawer and we're going to find this make a list. Now, once we go ahead and make that list, the next thing to do is to add as many phrases as we need. We don't want to have just two phrases. That makes it a little bit easy. So we're going to go ahead and have a total of eight different phrases. So by clicking on that mutator tab, I can go ahead and add as many list items as I want. So here you can see that I've increased my list from two up to eight. Once I have that make a list and I have the eight item slots, the next thing to do is to pull in a blank text box and drop it in that make a list. From here, you can just simply go ahead and duplicate that and then plug those into those remaining slots. Once you have all of your slots completed, the last thing we need to do is go ahead and add those phrases to our list. Once you have your list completed, it's now time to learn how we can access this list within our app.